here are some last minute tips for GCSE chemistry. These tips are what helped me back in 2022 when I did my GCSEs and I got a 9 for chemistry. So let's just get straight into it, I don't want to waste your time. Firstly, there's this YouTube video that I really recommend for you guys to check out, especially if you're not sure whether or not you know every single bit of content. It's this video from Primrose Kitten that has over 200 quick fire questions. It's an hour long, but you can quickly skim over it and just make sure that you are able to answer all of them. Don't spend too long on this. What I recommend for you to do the most, and this is the most important for chemistry at least as well, is to just go straight to topic questions and exam questions. Out of all the different subjects, chemistry has such common question types and there's some questions that literally get repeated word for word and the only way you can get them right is if you've done the question before and the best way to do that is to just do loads of topic questions and to really familiarize yourself with each topic so I want you to walk through every topic and just do a bunch of exam questions on it to the point where you start feeling like the questions are getting repetitive because you've done the same type of questions again and again right and that's where you know you can move on to the next one and just continue doing that until you're like set on all the different topics I don't really want you to be doing full pass papers right now because you don't really have much time to but if you just stick to doing exam questions topic by topic so if you want some resources i will have some stuff linked down below and just do those just focus on those topic questions there's some really common question types such as like what an isotope is why different isotopes still have the same chemical properties something on bonding is very likely to come up it's always a six mark question or at least very very likely to be you always get a lot of marks on whether it's ionic bonding or like covalent bonding maybe it's like the things with the nanotubes and like graphic and that stuff all of that is so so likely to come up that it's like know it in and out please just be prepared for a six marker on it just know it very well please that's one topic i really really want you to look over bonding another topic that i really really want you guys to look over as well is amount of substance so the quantitative chemistry all the maths basically it's the freest marks if you know how to do them so make sure you've done a bit of revision on the percentage yield calculations the atom economy calculations the concentration titration calculations all of those are definitely going to come up in some way or another so if you just don't go over them now you're just wasting your time it's really really important that you know how to do every single one of those even if you think you know how to do them do one or two questions in each one just to make sure you still have it in you and you're still able to do it try and find some really difficult ones and attempt those if you can do those you're pretty much set with amount of substance and everything amount of substance always a big big portion of the paper lots of marks that are really easy to get but also really easy to lose if you don't know what you're doing and on the day of your chemistry exam if you still have a bit of time and you don't really know what to do and you feel like you've got through all the topics and you know everything really well what you can do is you can find walkthroughs of past papers that you haven't done yet and just watch someone else do them and try and think before they've answered the question think if you'd get it right and give an answer in your head and then see if they wrote the thing you were going to write and just skim through those youtube videos of people doing those full past papers just because if you go over the papers yourself it's going to take much longer so if you watch someone else going through them you still get that revision in but it's much faster and much more efficient and yeah that's it for my chemistry tips don't worry and don't stress you'll be fine just go straight after this video to do some exam questions on chemistry and just to focus on every topic individually and make sure that you're able to do all those wordy questions and you know how to do them and then focus on the mathy questions make sure you're able to do those as well and you should be fine trust me if you can do all of that i know it's a lot but <laughs> if you are able to do all of that you're in a good position and tomorrow's exam or today's exam depending on when you're watching this should hopefully go well so best of luck and i'll see you guys very soon